Hi everybody and welcome back to Well That's My Dog. Now today's video is one that we get questions about all of the time and that is how to get rid of your dog's dry skin. I know a lot of people notice that their dog has dry skin. If they part their fur you can sort of see or tell and today we're going to be talking about how you can relieve them of this or how you can sort of stop it from happening and what different things you can do to help them. If this sounds like something you guys might be interested in then definitely do stay tuned for this week's video. Now before we do get started definitely do go down below to the comments and let me know have you noticed any dry skin problems with your dog and what have you done to help them out. But let's just get started. So to start off with, it's important to note that dogs itch for a number of different reasons, not just because they have dry skin. Sometimes dogs can even itch because they are bored or they are frustrated or anything like that. So don't immediately think if your dog's itching that they A, have fleas or that they B, have dry skin. The only time that you should start worrying about whether your dog has dry skin, if they are insistently licking, scratching, biting and chewing their skin to the point where they could actually wound themselves. It's only when you get to that point that you should actually really look at their skin and wonder if they do have dry skin or to ask a vet for any help. So first I want to talk about how you can figure out if your dog does have dry skin. The easiest way is to just check over their skin obviously. Normally you can just part their fur. I mean you weren't about to see a Milo but I would usually just part his fur and if he had almost like little pieces of dandruff this would indicate to me that he had dry skin because his skin is starting to peel. The skin will also be quite cracked and rough as well. Very very similar to when a human has dry skin. I'm sure most people have experienced dry skin before and you sort of know what it looks like so that's very similar to what it would look like on your dog. Now there are many different reasons why your dog might have dry skin. It actually happens a lot in low humidity and it can also be an impact of your dog's diet and also of their stress as well. And also dogs can be affected by allergies to the point where they can get dry skin too so if your dog does have allergies it might be a good idea to keep an eye on them if you are noticing dry skin because there might be food that has a very very minimal version of what they are allergic to and that can be affecting their skin in that way. Now there's not really a solution to dry skin a lot of the time it's just something your dog has to go through and one thing that I would recommend is grooming your dog regularly so giving them a wash or even just brushing their fur this can actually really help to minimize the dry skin as well. However if your dog has dry skin due to allergies definitely do visit the vets because they can give you more information on your dog's allergy and they can also give allergy shots as well which can help to effect or to improve your dog's dry skin. Well that is it for this week's video. Thank you all so so much for watching. Don't forget to follow us over on Instagram and also Facebook and we also have a Twitter page as well. We are all at for that's my dog so really really easy to find. Don't forget to let me know like I said before to comment down below and let me know has your dog ever had dry skin and what did you do to help combat that. Don't forget to give this video a big big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking the little button over here and also don't forget to check out our previous video which is all the way on the other side of the screen if you would just like to keep up to date with us and to learn more about your dog and we will see you all next week for next week's video bye